जय गुरु देव स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू एट स्टैंडर्ड साइंस चैप्टर फाइव कूल एंड पेट्रोलियम इन दिस चैप्टर वी विल कवर द टॉपिक्स आर रिसोर्सेज टाइप्स ऑफ रिसोर्सेज फ्यूल्स लाइक कोल पेट्रोलियम एंड नेचुरल गैस लेट्स फर्स्ट वी स्टार्ट विथ इंट्रोडक्शन students we use various materials for our basic needs which we see our surrounding some of them we obtain from nature like sunlight air water soil forest minerals plants and animals etc and some we get from human efforts that is which made by human like furniture plants glass vehicles computer medicines Uh, household articles it is see this all are called resources so resources any things which is used by human for his survival or welfare called resources these resources uh, are those things which satisfy the human needs and this these are the part of the environment resources are two types natural resources and man made resources natural resources uh, two types that is the uh, inexhaustible natural resources and exhaustible natural resources man made resources like uh, plastics furniture glass medicines computers household household articles now let's first we start in ag- in exhaustible natural resources we can also call them renewable resources these resources are present unlimited quantity in nature not be exhausted by the human activity means it does not get to finish even we use more and more because it is present plenty in nature examples sunlight air water and soil second is exhaustible natural resources we can also call them non renewable resources the amount of these resources in nature are limited exhausted by human activities means it will get finish or over one day very soon it will not use properly or use more and more examples forest mineral coal petroleum natural gas so this in this chapter we especially learn about some exhaustible natural resources like coal petroleum and natural gas so this all is called fossil fuel so fossil fuels are the fuels which are form from dead remains of living organisms over a long period of time means it preserved remains of animals fallen leaves of plants or other animals example is coal petroleum and natural gas now we will study first fossil fuel is coal coal is exhaustible natural resources which will finish one day very soon if we will not use properly so coal is also called black diamonds there are more than 500 coal mines in india like telangana andhra pradesh chatisgarh jharkhand madhya pradesh and maharashtra are the states where coal mine is carried out so coal is one of the most abundant fossil fuel found in india so coal is hard as a stone used to cook food in a earlier it was used in a railway engines to produce steam to run the engines it is used in thermal power plants to produce electricity it is used as a fuel in various industries Uh, like a steel production cement manufacturing as a liquid fuel story of coal 
means where do we get from coal and how it is a form it has an interesting story so about uh, 300 million years ago earth had covered with a dense forest due to natural disaster like flooding earthquake volcanic eruptions this forest got buried under the soil and as a more soil deposited over them and compressed temperatures and temperature also rose as they sank deeper and deeper this way under high temperature and pressure uh, the dead plants got slowly converted into coal so the conversion of dead vegetations into coal is called carbonization so coal is a composed of mainly carbon and these carbons comes from dead vegetations part now varieties of coal the four basic varieties or ranks of coal which obtained by mining are peat lignite bituminous and anthracite so coal changes from peat to lignite and lignite to bituminous coal and finally bituminous coal to anthracites and under extreme conditions anthracites can change into graphite and each stage of metamorphosis of coal its carbon content increases and its moisture content decreases as i told coal is a formed coal is a formed uh, from dead vegetations that is a plant bodies during this period coal have to suffer uh, four stages first is peat then second stage of coal is lignite then bituminous and then finally anthracites so due to natural disaster when uh, means uh, forest got buried under the soil and soil deposited over them and this way form peat peat again got compressed to form lignite between two sedimental layer and again lignites further compressed to form bituminous layer bituminous coal and bituminous again highly pressurized with a high temperatures and form anthracite coal uh, that is a means anthracite coal is form this is a highest rank of coal formation peat it is a soft spongy and mainly comprises of comprises of plant debris highly moisture content and lower carbon content means carbon content present 30 to 40 percent it is used an industrial fuel in some regions and peat is the first step of coal formation now lignite it is a brown in color considered as the lowest rank of coal carbon content is around 50 to 70 percent it is used as a fuel for electric power generations now third type of coal is bituminous it is a soft coal and usually black or sometimes dark brown lower moisture content and higher carbon content that is a carbon percent percentage of carbon is 60 to 80 percent used as a fuel for power generation and also used to manufacture useful product like coke and coal 
star. Now, fourth type of coal is anthracite. It is the highest rank of coal. It is the hard black coal with a very high carbon content. That is 85 to 90 percent carbon present. Used for residential and commercial heating. Byproduct of coal. When coal is heated at a high temperature, that is a thousand degree uh, centigrade, uh, in the absence of air, it does not burn, but it breaks down into simpler useful product such as coke, coal tar, and coal gas. So, uh, this processing is called destructive distillation which is uh, carried out in a laboratory. Coke. It is a tough, porous and black substance. It is a pure form of carbon used in the manufacture of steel and extraction of metals. Coal tar. It is a black thick liquid and unpleasant smell used in synthetic dyes, drugs, explosives, perfumes, plastics, paints, photographic materials, etc. Now is coal gas. So coal gas obtained during the processing of coal to coke means when coal is processing for coke so during this period coal gas release so coal gas used as fuel in many industries